Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. And it's almost like I didn't see these arrows going round here, saying that the power has to go in this side and come out the other side. Um, as I mentioned in the last episode, I'd pre-recorded that after seeing all of your comments about my woeful setup of my electric system. I swear blind that when I played it before, these things worked bi-directionally. But we need to turn them all round. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make you sit through all of that. I'm going to deconstruct. Oh, do I need to deconstruct them all? Can I just... Yeah, because I'm going to redo this wire here as well. So I've also made the mistake of this conductive wire. Um, it takes a max of two kilowatts. Okay, and we've got... Uh, where are the little guys? Four of these grown in here now. Getting a bit cramped. So we're gonna, we are going to sort this out. Oh, but it's like, yeah. So they're 1,600 each. The two of those, 3,200. Yeah, it's just not enough. So I'm going to go for a nice, big, fat, heavy watt wire, 20 kilowatts. That does have a real negative effect on decor, minus 25 over six tiles. Um, so if you do it from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the decor will be pretty low in this area. And down here, I'm not too concerned. Uh, we might have problem getting it through here because we're going to need a heavy watt joint plate. It won't just go through the wall. I could pop that maybe through somewhere else. I will get to that bit. But yeah, I'm going to deconstruct all of that, get it rewired. I'm not going to make you sit through it all. And then everything will work properly. And also, I saw the comments about selecting, uh, connecting this up to my main line rather than as like a little extra bit on this power line. So, by the end of a cycle or two, hopefully all of this will be sorted. So, I'll just do that. Also, another bonus, the heavy watt wire just needs normal cobalt instead of refined stuff. So, we can just um, cancel that. Bip, 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 down to zero. Good, good. And then I'm going to turn them round when I put them in. Which will just make things a lot better and then I can readjust the wiring. Fantastic. Okay, so this bit here, I'm just sort of thinking, can I do something a bit clever here? Um, if I build, like, a piece of wall... Let me just do a test on this, actually. Let's grab this thing. Where is it? The wire... There it is. Heavy watt joint plates. Does it actually... Yeah, it's got, like, three pieces to it, isn't it? I want to just block off this water here. It's basically what I'm doing without causing any extra issues. So if I sort of go like that and get those built, I can then put it there. Then I can dig those out again. I just don't want all of this water. Because if I open a hole there and they don't fill it in quickly, all of this is going to level out. <laughs> it's going to like fill up to here. That would just be an utter disaster. And my poor meats, they're struggling because there's no oxygen. Only this bit up here has got oxygen. Yeah, they're almost doing it though, but we're getting there. We've got it going in the right way now. We've got our heavy watt wire down the back. We're almost there. Oh, blueprint. Uh, no more meeps at the moment. We are going to take all of that coal. That is really, really going to help. So thank you very much. We'll take that and our research. We now have access to solar panels. Fantastic. So we're going to look at those. Steam turbine. Can't use that yet. And a sauna. Use steam to create a relaxing atmosphere. Okay, excellent. What do we need for the solar panels? 200 glass for each one. And we've got 525. And they will give 380 watts of power. Well, we do have access to the surface. Um, so we will probably look at doing that in a moment once we've got all of this extra stuff sorted out. Um, I'm not going to bother changing all this to heavy watt wire. Because this wire never seems to break. Even though they put 1600 times 4 into it sometimes. If it does need to change, I'll change it. But... I think we'll be fine. We just need this little block here to be done. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Now I'm going to pop that in there. Uh, I'm going to put that on a nine. Yeah. And then we can start monkeying around with all of this. We'll get a little bit of water coming in, but nothing too drastic. And then we need to open this up as well and start doing something better with all of this. Oh! Repair. No, don't bother repairing it. It's going to get broken anyway at some point. Oh, no. Oh, repair it. Oh, no, we've got this done first. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, they built it. Oh, phew. <laughs> I was panicking. <laughs> Thinking it was going to ruin my plans. Oh, great. Too much liquid. Uh, let's just dig these out then. 
Right, okay, that's going to end up breaking. Let's deconstruct it anyway. And then we can get some more of this wire hooked up. There we go. Excellent. Can I mop this? Yes. Uh, let's set that on a nine just to get rid of that. Right, okay, let me finish getting these all, all done. Okay, so we should be set up now. We've got the heavy watt wire. Is that connected there? Awaiting delivery of cobalt. Oh, yeah, it needs one last wire by the look of it. Let's get that on a nine. Oh, come on, get it done before the end of the day. Uh, it, it goes... Right, okay, that is going to be a yellow alert. I want it done. Get it done! Looks like it's connected, but it isn't. Anyway, it goes all the way up here, goes in there, and then... Oh, I've got that one wire there. Darn it. I thought that was going to connect without changing it. Okay, let me fix that. Okay, red alert, because it ain't getting done. Get it done. Come on now. Yeah, I'm not sure how well this is going to work at the minute, but 1,600 times 2 plus another 320. It's all going through this wire. This is a bit weird here, which we'll sort. Yeah, look, that's breaking, so that's fine. But these are filling up. Are they all filling up? These are working. I've got the batteries all turned off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, I'm doing a rejig of this room, opening it up, making it bigger, putting all heavy watt wire in, uh, because that's what we need. And I've accidentally got somebody stuck. Dino, um, I need that built here on a nine, like, straight away. Yes, I think Dino's going to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then you're going to get yourself out to get some oxygen. Come on, run. You can do it. You look a lot happier than you did a minute ago. Good. Ooh, ooh, that was close. And there we go. Oh, he's a bit glum, but he's happy. He's happy. He's happy. He just wants to be groomed, that's all. But they've got plenty of space now, which is fantastic. And apart from this one, which has gone on to a power cable that isn't connected, our power is now going all the way up here, filling up those batteries. Filling up those batteries. Filling up those batteries. Yeah. Hey, we've managed to do it. Finally, and we can even add some more batteries in. These are all connected as well. Fan flipping tastic. Yeah, there's a few wires I need to fix. Don't worry about that. Excellent. So I'm going to put that on a low priority. We don't need that. Cool. So that means we can start um, keeping a lot of our food and things cold as we should as well. So we can plug these in. What's the load? Oh, that one's overloading. Oh, I might need to do a little bit of uh, potential load 960. Well, then it's not overloading, then, is it? Because it's got a 1,000 on it. Well, I won't add those onto that one, then. Oh, these batteries aren't connected to anything. Yeah, I've disconnected a wire here somehow. Whoops! That's what's going on. Okay, so now we've got power everywhere. I'm going to pop all these down to, like, a 6. I really don't think we need to use all of these wheels. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look, Gossman! He's doing some telescope work. Well done, Gossman! He's, like, holding his breath. And working his way through the work. That is brilliant. And we'll see some more planetoids in space. It looks like you've finished something. Let's have a look at our star map. You found the one that we already knew about, Gossman. Well done. Absolutely fantastic work there. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at our rocket platform. No rockets in orbit. We could build a new rocket. Ooh, we've got a sugar engine, which is going to burn sucrose. How much sucrose do we have? We probably don't have it listed on here. Have we been collecting it all this time? 87.6 kilograms of sucrose. Not entirely sure whether that is going to be anywhere near enough. Um, burden, potential range, engine power, speed. Doesn't say. Helpful. Okay. Command module and a nose section. Holds one duplicate traveller. So that is what we're going to have to build at some point. Orbital cargo module delivers cargo to the surface of planetoids that do not yet have a rocket platform. So, yeah, our other planet would definitely be sending that over there. I wonder whether this will pop up something and say we found a planet. He's going off for some breath. Okay. Stores fertilizer and oxalite for burning rocket fuels. Okay. Or store some of the gas reserve found during space missions. Okay, cool. Well, what I would like to get up here is some sort of rocket. Um, but I'm just wondering whether we could go with a different type of fuel. So if we just clear that and have a look at rockets. Coal generator. 
This is the thing I'm looking for. Carbon dioxide engine. We have so much carbon dioxide, that would just be fantastic. So I'm going to do some research on that one, and then we'll get to that. And while we're waiting for that, I also want to put a couple of solar panels up here and make some use of that. Maybe we could do it this side. Yeah, let's pop one there. And I'm just wondering whether we could just connect them to this wire. Um, and maybe one over here and we'll just build this out a bit. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's do that. Yeah, I think we'll just go with a couple of these. We're losing a bit of hydrogen here, but we're going to repurpose this area anyway for our hydrogen collection at some point. Doing okay and all the stuff that we need to. Now our power's back. <laughs> Hopefully we're doing a lot better. And then what I'm going to do while they're building that is run a gas pipe. Hmm... I'm wondering whether we need an insulated gas pipe up this top end um, because of the temperature here is very cold. So I think that might be a good idea. So I'm going to run it um, down to... Yeah, let's do insulated gas pipe to there. Actually, it gets quite cold through here as well, doesn't it? And all the way down there. Yeah, I'm going to do an insulated gas pipe the whole way. Just because I want to just make sure there's absolutely no problems. And if you have a look down here, we can see all of our carbon dioxide. Look, absolutely tons of it. I mean, the base is filled a bit. Obviously, power is a big problem. So if we just stick a pump here uh, with all the normal sort of valves and things on it. Gas filter and all the rest of it. That could work really, really well. So that is going to have to go like that. Oh, what have we got? Shine nymph egg and a load of ice. Um, I'll take those. They're just going to disappear and die. The ice. I just don't want anything more cold in my base. <laughs> we'll take that and that'll just do for now. Yeah, I haven't got this wired in right, have I? I need that just to go into here rather than in straight into my backbone. Or I need to just upgrade this all to this big fat wire. Because I wanted it... i tell you what it is. It's from when I last played. I, I have sort of things in my mind that used to work and, and used to cause like little issues and problems, which I don't think necessarily do now. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what would be the easiest way. Just deconnect that. Disconnect that. And I'm going to have that go straight into here as well. So hopefully the two of those going in won't cause a problem. I've got in the back of my mind that sort of thing used to cause problems before. But yeah, power working nicely. So we don't have to worry about that for a while. We've got lots of eggs being grown. Excellent. Ah, and some more research. So what have we got? Oxygen mask station. Now that could be quite good. Little awesome filter, create oxygen mask, ambient oxygen it fills up with. So we could do something like that for getting up on the surface so they could work a bit more. We'll have a look at that. And a canister filler and a canister emptier. Gas canisters. Okay, excellent. Well, maybe we could do something with the oxygen mask. I wonder whether it works. Yeah, supply of polluted oxygen. Um, does it need any power? 60 watts of power. So we could just pop that up here somewhere. Because we do have polluted oxygen. <laughs> and then we could like reroute the way that they get up again. See, all of this is filling up here. It would be better if it was down there. I could move that to down here. And then have a mask. When they go past, they grab a mask. That would be a better idea. Let me just rejigger this a tiny bit. So it's basically only this, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Let me do this. There we go. We'll get that to be put in there with the automation wire and stuff that we've got as well. I'll set that up the same as we had this. A thousand. Green signal if below. A um, thousand. Green signal if below. Yep, that's fine. And we'll get that going. What was this on before? Oh, it's being deconstructed now. So if we put that on a subliminal station. <laughs> subliminal. Sublimation station. There we go. And then hopefully this will start to fill up. Filter's not designated, so metal ore. I mean, they're both going to be made out of cobalt, aren't they? That's like what we've got the most of. So we'll pop that on a seven. We'll see how that goes. So that just just suck it in from the surrounding atmosphere. Uh, this has been built. So we're going to connect these via our wire just to our main line for now. As that runs down here, down here. And that then connects to all of this. Now, ideally, what I want is those connected to my backbone 
but I need to sort of think about how to do that. So for now, I'm just going to connect them up to there. They will just do what they're going to do. That's fine. So let's have a look at our rocket platform. Wow, so much to do. New rocket platform. We can build a carbon dioxide engine. Um, so if we add that, oh, we can build it out of whatever. So might as well build it out of cobalt ore. We'll stick that on a seven. And I think they'll just add that onto there uh, when they get to it, which will be fantastic. Right, we've got our pump set up. Um, so that should be sending carbon dioxide up through here. Uh, but pipes are blocked at the minute because it's got nowhere to go. If we follow this up, yeah, they're still making all of that. That's going to go all the way around here, all the way up here. Um, can they still go past this? Oh, it's filling up. Look, it's grabbing oxygen from here. Oh, that is fantastic. Uh, station. So I'm wondering... Oh, it's popping up things and I can't see what it's doing. It's making some heat. I'm wondering whether they can't go past this. Oh, I want to see what that little thing says when it pops up. If there's no masks that are filled up or delivered to it. Let's just keep an eye on it and see what happens. Oh, punk at sub's about to go past. Okay, let's just do a little test. Uh, let's take Lindsay. Come here, Lindsay. You are going to move to here. You cannot move to there. Uh, and I bet that symbol there is going to change when this is filled up. Well, that's okay. There's plenty of stuff to do inside. So let's keep an eye on this and see if this fills up. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Look, it's now got a mask. Charlie's got his mask on. Fantastic, Charlie. How long is that going to last for? Um, yeah, you can take it through the water. See, ideally, all of this would have been before this, but it's just the way we've made it. I, it's not changing things around. So, is that little blue thing on the bottom show how much oxygen he's got? So, he's going to do, like, one thing and then run all the way back? Possibly. Let's just see if there's any information on Charlie. Intensely bright, sopping wet, yucky lungs, hungry. Poor guy! But he's doing okay. <laughs> and he's going to build this one for us. Yay! Then it's just the wires and things. Um... Let's just put that on a nine, get those wires connected. Nice, okay. And then they'll get to building this new rocket, I would imagine. If I put that on an eight, it'll happen even sooner. Oh, here we go. More people with their masks on. She can sit here even longer. So it doesn't give you a huge amount of oxygen. I wonder whether if you waited longer, they would fill up more. But we'll see, we'll see. Oh, and there's one on the floor. I mean, that thing's going to keep going all the time, isn't it? Because that's never going to get below a 1,000. It's just being sucked into here all the time. But uh, it means they can do faster work outside. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Yay! You offer some food. I want a little picture of you leaping through the air in your gas mask. How epic. Hey, look at that. We've got our first solar panel is working. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, can you hear it humming? That is cool. So I do need to have a look at the system to get those straight into my backbone. What I call my backbone anyway. This thing down here. And then spread it out amongst the batteries and stuff. But I mean, what with those now up? And we can add more of those as well. And with these guys down here, power is not going to be a problem anymore. Food is dropping down. <laughs> We've got a few things to work on. So what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to get them all to sweep up all the stuff. Fix any broken wires left over from our last problem. Mop up anything that needs to be mopped up. Because there's a lot of that. Generally get the base a lot tidier. And yeah. And then we can start diving into some of our other things that we need to do. Which is like heading to another planet. Uh, sorting out the germs in our water. Which I've got to be honest I'm not overly concerned about. I know it probably slows them down a little bit. But it's not a huge problem. And then getting our rocket built as well, which is fantastic. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of Oxygen Not Included. Thank you very much for your support and your suggestions. Keep them coming. And I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.